Welcome to our house! This is where we'll be living. I love it, I'm obsessed with it. We're gonna fix it up and make it our own. Welcome to my humble abode. It's been a minute since I've made a video, but we've done lots of projects since the last time we posted. So I just wanted to do a little walkthrough and show you guys what has changed. There's still a lot that's unfinished, but here we go. So let's head on in. Ta-da! This is what you see when you first come in. It's a lot different than what it did look like. Um, we still have a lot to get for this room, but it is pretty cute, if I do say so myself. Here's a little close up of the fireplace. So here's what we're working with so far. This is furniture from our apartment, which you can go watch the tour. I did a tour whenever I lived there. But this is the couch and rug that I got for the apartment, which was a lot smaller than our living room. So I plan on getting a new couch. I know what couch I want already. Um, I'm just waiting for Levi to let me buy it, but I'll insert a picture of the couch that I want to get and also, I want to get a new rug because I'm not really vibing with the gray anymore. I don't know. It's just not it. But um, we currently don't have anything hung on the walls because of the fact that we are going to be getting different furniture and stuff. So we don't want to hang stuff on the walls yet. We want to see what we're working with before we do any of that. So, so we'll head into the dining room next, which is probably probably my favorite room in the house um just because it's the most finished there's our doggy say hey maple but anyways this rug is new the table's new and the chair's new basically everything for the dining room we got new because we didn't have anything to go in here so i'll try to link everything below but this is kind of what the dining room looks like um I made this little centerpiece not too long ago. I thought it was cute, but there's our window seat in all its glory. We do want to get um, cushions to put down because, I mean, the wood is pretty, um, you can tell it's been sat on a lot, so we'll probably get some cushions to put down there, but this mirror is there because I sit on this bench and get ready every single morning and you will see why in a minute but we'll get there when we get there so here's our living room also haven't changed the fixture in here but we will but let's move on to the kitchen say bye maple she's not happy with me so in here the main things that we did I can't remember what all I've showed so far but we painted the walls, obviously, and we painted the cabinets. We haven't changed the floors, which we don't love the floors, but it's not that big of a deal. Let me get you a close-up. The cabinet color. It's like a beige color, and then I got these gold little knobs off of, I think, Amazon. But this is kind of what our kitchen looks like. Nothing crazy. I love the little window, but the only thing is my eyesight comes to like right here because I'm short, so I really can't even like look out the window, but it's still pretty. I can see the tree, which is cute, but here's another view of this corner. I wanted to do a beige color for the cabinets because I like light cabinets, but I didn't want just like the stark white. I wanted to give it a little bit of warmth, so that's what we did in here. Next, we will go to the middle room, which we have not touched. The only thing we've done in here since we got the keys to the house is remove the wallpaper. So this is the plaster that was underneath. Originally, we planned on doing wallpaper just because it does have like lots of spots that um, aren't smooth and it has lots of cracks and stuff. But my friend Delaney actually gave me the idea to do like a wall texture 
instead of wallpaper because one, wallpapers are very expensive and two, I'm very indecisive and I don't really wanna pay a lot of money for a patterned wallpaper that I might hate in like a couple months. So I'm thinking I'll either do some sort of like simple wall texture or um, I'll insert a picture, but I might try and lime wash the wall because I feel like that will hide some of the texture in the wall. But we haven't done anything in here. So let's go to the bathroom, which you can now see why I still get ready in the dining room every single day. Um, we had an issue with our sink, which is why it's not in yet. Um, we also don't have our plugs or our sconces or overhead lighting put in yet. You can get onto my husband for that one. But with our sink, you have to screw these legs into the base, which is right there. That's what it looks like. And the screw, I don't know what to call it. The place where it screws in is threaded crooked. So we can't screw it in. Like no matter how many times we tried, it would not screw in because it was crooked. So we got to figure out how to fix that. We can't return it because we didn't even open the box until after 30 days of purchasing and you can't return it after 30 days. So we got to figure out what to do with it. But here's the rest of the bathroom. I got this rug from CB2. Here's the tile that we ended up going with. Um, it was from Home Depot. Here's our tub all in her glory. And then here is our shower fixtures. I really like this, but haven't been able to use this shower head because we don't have a shower curtain yet. We're also working on that, but here's the rest of it. We had to get this one specifically because it's the only one we could find that was, um, that the spout was long enough to reach to the tub from the wall. So it was a little pricier, but I think it was worth it. And then the bathtub tray, it's just glorious. I take baths like every single night because that's the only option and I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. So next we'll head into the bedroom. And this is what it looks like on first glance. So this rug is new and the thing about this rug is I really like it. I like the pattern. I like the beige color, but I don't know if it's what I'm going for in the bedroom. So for one, it's too small, which I figured it might be whenever I bought it, but the bigger size was out of stock and I was impatient and bought it anyways. <laughs> but I think I might move this rug up to our guest bedroom because that room's a little smaller and then get a different rug for in here. But I got this bed off of Target, and it's just a footboard and headboard, and then it just attaches to your existing bed frame. Um, this dresser I already had. These nightstands are from Amazon. So in the bedroom, it's not really giving the vibes that I wanted to give. I'm not really loving what's going on in here because the dresser doesn't match the nightstands, which is like, the nightstands are different vibes than the rug. So I'm just trying to figure it out. Here is a paint sample of a green color that we might paint the bottom half of the room and the trim, the chair railing, and then do possibly picture frame molding on the bottom half of the room. I don't know, we're still trying to figure it out. I don't really know what I want for this room, but but one thing about this room is it's really cozy at nighttime because we found these cute little lamps from Target. And I'll insert a video from later tonight whenever it gets dark. But it is really cozy and I do like our bedroom a lot. I'm just trying to figure out how to bring it together because it's not, it's not giving like mature, sophisticated vibes. It's giving like mixed match, doesn't know how to decorate her room vibes. So we're working on it. Oh, what do you think about our floors, by the way? We never did a finished floor video yet. I have all of the footage, but I just haven't put it together, so I'll show you here. But they're just a natural. We kept them natural, and we did a semi-matte finish. So it's not poly. It's a different type of finish. I'll insert a picture of what we used, but I really like the semi-matte look. I think it looks cute. 
So, we'll go on upstairs. We painted everything white up here, and in the process, um, I got a hole in this plaster because it was already cracking, and then I was painting, and it just like fell apart. So, <laughs> there's a hole in the wall, but it's fine. There's no more flies for everyone who was wondering. But this is our upstairs. It's pretty random up here, but we don't really come up here a whole lot. This is my basket shelf <laughs> with all of my baskets. I have more than this, but these are the ones that are not being used. And I just put them there just for the heck of it. It won't stay like that. But to our left is the guest bedroom. This is what she looks like right now. Um, again, this rug and bed and sheets and stuff are all old from a long time ago. And I just put them up here so that we would have something up here. But... It's not really the vibes that I want to go for, so I'll probably end up changing it, but for now, we're going with boho vibes <laughs> up here. So we got the gold and the pink. Um, the thing about this room is the view. It literally feels like if you lay down in the bed, it feels like you're in like a tree house because you just see the trees and it's so pretty. I really love this room a lot. It's probably my favorite room, but um, just got a little blanket, my guitar, which I don't really play. And then that's basically it. There's me. So that's the guest room. If you go straight, here is our office. Me and Levi own a business. We do photography, videography, live production, stuff like that. So this is where we edit a lot of the times. Um... This is actually the rug that we got married on. Fun fact, I really like this rug and I got it for like 40 bucks at Bargain. I don't know what this store's called. One of those bargain stores. <laughs> and then I got these chairs on Facebook Marketplace, also for the wedding. But we just have a little storage console back there, some random stuff. We left this room the color that it was painted whenever we got it because I actually like the color. And it's something different than just white, so. We just left it, but this is our office. I really like how it looks. Again, we don't have anything on the walls up here yet either. And then over here is just an empty room. Right now it's just storage. I just have some extra stuff over here. But we left it gray, which is what it was whenever we bought it. We're not gonna keep it gray, but we just haven't painted it for now. Over here is where I keep my clothes. And that's just storage over there. So this is the upstairs. We haven't really done much besides paint and put stuff in the rooms. I will show you our sunroom. I don't know, again, I don't remember what it looked like in the last video, but we cleaned it out last weekend because it had all of our extra construction stuff in it. It had tools, it had, it had extra sheets of drywall beadboard, trim, everything. It was a mess in here, but we cleaned it out for the most part. This is extra furniture and stuff that we need to figure out what to do with, but for the most part, she's clean. Levi has something plugged in over there. We're trying to get a power washer so we can like actually clean it. There's Levi. <laughs> you missed it. Um, we still have the roof just a little hole cut out we haven't ripped it all down yet even though i wanted to do that today but we didn't so we're still working on it we need to pressure wash and paint everything and figure out what to do with this room because it's a big like chunk of the house it's pretty large and i would like to utilize it but we'll get there and then the basement hasn't changed since we moved in. The only thing we've done is add a washer and dryer. Besides that, it looks exactly the same. So, won't show you down there. But that's basically everything. Right, Maple? What do you think? Is that everything? Say bye. Bye.